Hey guys, welcome back to the Stargazer Man channel. Today I'm excited to take a closer look at ZWO's new Seastar S30. It might be a smaller scope than the S50, but it actually brings some new features and improvements that just might give it an edge. ZWO have been kind enough to send one over for a hands-on review, so as soon as it arrives I'll be doing a full deep dive to see what this little powerhouse can really do. So make sure you like and subscribe to catch that upcoming video. Okay, so let's get into the specs. The S30 has a 30 millimeter aperture with a three element refractor using the same ED or extra low dispersion glass as the S50. So this helps reduce color fringing and keeps the images sharp. It's got a 150 millimeter focal length and unlike the S50, it includes a second lens and sensor. So this looks like it's geared towards landscape and daytime photography. The main imaging sensor is where we see a big upgrade. The S30 uses the Stony Starvis IMX662 and this offers better light capture and detail, especially in low light conditions. So this means you get cleaner, sharper images with less noise, making it ideal for a astrophotography camera. Like the S50, the S30 also includes internal filters. So we have the UV IR cut filter. There's a dual narrowband filter for nebula and a dark filter. The solar filter has been upgraded also and it now attaches magnetically, making it much easier and safer to put on. So how much does this little scope weigh? Well, it clocks in at just under 1.6 kilograms or about 3.6 pounds. So this makes it super lightweight, perfect as a grab and go travel telescope. It runs on an internal rechargeable lithium battery, just like the S50, though it comes with a smaller tripod. You might prefer to use your own tripod and you can attach that using the 3 8 thread. Feature-wise, the S30 offers the same modes that we see on the S50. So you have lunar, solar, deep sky, scenic. You also get 64 gigabytes of internal storage with about 50 gigabytes free for your images and videos. And the saving formats are FITS, JPEG and AVI. For data transfer, you can use the USB cable or dual band Wi-Fi. So over the last year or so, ZWO have been quite busy updating and adding features to the software in the app. They have added the new Sky Atlas framing feature, which is basically mosaic mode. So this helps you to frame celestial objects more precisely, which is great for getting that perfect shot. It's got continuous shooting in stargazing mode. This lets you capture multiple exposures back to back, ideal for time lapse sequences or stacking. It also has guest mode, which is great for casual users or if you're showing the app to somebody else without needing a full account setup. There's push notifications, manual solar system observation and optimal image enhancement after go to. So quite a lot of enhancements and new features. And it seems like ZWO have no intention of stopping and are also very good at listening to feedback from the user community. I have to say I'm genuinely excited to get my hands on the Seastar S30 and put it through its paces. Right off the bat, it seems like a fantastic addition to the Seastar lineup. It's smaller and lighter, which makes it a lot more portable, yet it's packed with a better sensor and now includes mosaic mode, so it captures those sweeping views of the sky. I'm especially curious about the new AI image processing feature. Sounds promising, but I'll be testing it thoroughly and comparing the, the results that I get from processing the images externally just to see how good a final image I can get from the unit. Overall, it looks like a solid and versatile telescope and I can't wait to dive in when it arrives. If you want to check out the links, they're in the description below. As always, clear skies and keep looking up.